Hello there, wonderful people of God, people who are conscious of the fact that God will repay everyone according to what he or she has done. Yes, because Romans 2 verse 6 makes it clear that God is the rewarder of our actions and not man. Warm welcome to your weekly gospel encouragement program, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads, where we use biblical tidbits to encourage ourselves and miss daily discouragement. We are grateful to you all for your views, your likes, your comments, your shares, your suggestions, your cor corrections, your contributions, and all that you're doing to push us a step ahead in the work of the Lord. We pray that as you continue to do so, may God continue to grant your heart's desires according to his riches in glory in Jesus' name. For those who are yet to subscribe to the channel, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads, we are appealing that you please do so and share the word so that you can become part of the family. By the special grace of God, we become very aware of the fact that salvation was made possible because Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. And so, beloved in the Lord, if you have not yet given your life to Christ, or if there are still some areas of your life that are not a reflection of Christ as Lord and Savior, it is time to get it right while you still have the opportunity to do so. We are also encouraged to go out and evangelize so that others can come to the saving knowledge of Christ Jesus as we too have come. Praise the Lord. Together, we've been able to share several topics from slots 1 to 144. The last being the fact that there are terms and conditions that we must respect in order for God to respect his own. And so whatever instruction it is that God has given you, make no delay to obey so that the blessings of obedience will be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Last week, for Sister with the Word, we also encouraged ourselves that the raising of a woman, the raising of a girl is the raising of a nation. And so treat your sons and daughters alike, right, so that you can get the best out of the woman and not the curse out of the woman. Praise the Lord. Today in Slots 145, we have a topic that concerns you and that concerns me. And that topic is behind the scenes. And our main passage is Colossians 3, 23 to 24, in which we are told to do all things, not as unto human masters, but as unto God who holds our inheritance. Hallelujah. Sometimes in life we find ourselves in situations where we put in our best, we give our, our utmost, we do all that we are able to do, yet we don't get recognized. Beloved in the Lord, that you are walking behind the scenes does not mean that God is not seen, does not mean that God is unaware of what you are doing. When you read the Bible, the 66 books of the Bible, some, Bibles are, some Bible books have the names of their authors, for instance, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and what have you. But some Bible books don't also have the names of their author. Look at an example of King David, mighty king as he was, he wrote some Psalms, but there is no book in the Bible that is called David. Though he wrote many popular Psalms like Psalms 51. And so David did not give up because his name was not mentioned amongst the books of the Bible. He did that which was expected of him because he knew that God is the rewarder. Are we talking about the example of Paul's nephew in Acts chapter 23 verse 16 where his name is not even mentioned but he is dropped on the plan to kill his uncle Paul and he went ahead to unleash or to expose the plan that saved his uncle's life. Look at the example of Naaman's slave girl in 2 Kings 5, 3-4. Her name is not mentioned, but she went ahead to play her role that led to the saving or to the healing of her master, Naaman. And so what it is that God has called you to do, whether or not your name is mentioned, beloved of the Lord, do it as unto God and not as unto man, for God is the rewarder. When we look at the example of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we discover that these three friends, their destiny was tied to their friend Daniel. Hallelujah. Who is that person whom God has called you to work as an assistant to, as an associate to, to be a helpmate, a helper to that person? Your name might not be mentioned, you might not be recognized, but that your name is not mentioned does not mean that God will not reward you. And so stop backbiting, stop competing, stop complaining, or stop, you know, running down the person whom God has called you to work under. It is for a season and it is for a reason. God himself will reward the efforts that you are making. Look at the example of Abigail. Sometimes in life we get into trouble when we inform the wrong people about our actions. We should be the kind of people who bear in mind that information can sometimes deform our reformation. When you look at 1 Samuel 25 verse 19, Abigail went ahead to do that which she was instructed to do without informing her, her husband Nabal. What is that thing that God has called you to do? Instead of seeking recognition, left, right, center, and informing people who are instead out to bring your downfall, go right ahead if you are sure that you heard from God. Go right ahead and do what God expects of you. 
for he's the one who will reward you. Look at the example of Peter's mother-in-law in Luke chapter 4, verse 38 to 40. She goes ahead to serve Jesus after her healing. Or even the woman who anointed Jesus' feet in Luke chapter 7, verse 36 to 50. She still goes ahead to anoint Jesus' body for burial. Do that which is expected of you, whether or not man recognizes you in the choir, as an interpreter, and whatever department you are called to serve God. Serve God, not as unto man, but as unto God. And that explains why if you're out there and you have not yet given your life to Christ, just bow your head and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life, wash me with the blood of the Lamb, give me the power to live right, give me the power to serve you as unto you and not as unto man, bearing in mind that you are the rewarder. And behold, you will be getting it right, even as you do your duties behind the scene. Because Galatians 6, 9 is clear that we should not be weary in doing good, for our rewarder will reward us. The Bible is the road, Jesus the code, sin the obstacle, and heaven the destination. Shalom, good people.